And this is your secure privacy segment with Alain Guy, the CEO of Secure Private Data. Good morning, Alain. <laughs> uh, good morning to you. I'm hoping you're doing okay over there because I know there's a power outage. Yes, uh, where I currently live, we had a massive storm, a huge electrical storm. All of the power grid is out. So the whole city does not have power and it's about to be 85 degrees Fahrenheit today. So you do the math to calculate. It's gonna be very hot. It's a very challenging time. And this happens all over the world. We know that because there's all different types of destructive elements. This is a natural element. And so what we're gonna talk about today is how this is leaving our data vulnerable because this is when cyber attacks can really start to come in when people depend on their technology so much. But this is uh, an easy vulnerability for um, hackers to come in and steal our information. So let's talk a little bit about that today, Alain. Yes, so what you're talking about is infrastructure and redundancy and electrical supply. It's, it's basically the, the veins of these data centers are power and networking, because without one of the other, all the data that we are trying to access is inaccessible. And of course, it is prone to uh, attacks by hackers. So, you know, the hackers can attack anything from your own little personal data all the way to the power grid, as we have seen in the last a few years we've been on the show for a while we've discussed that and therefore it's important to have a backup power obviously one of the advantages to try to back up your cloud uh, in a safe area where you do have redundant power and networking capability this this leaves the entire city now and every citizen uh, where you are uh, vulnerable unfortunately it really does. And adding insult to injury, I'm I'm moving into a new home this week. And another topic that is so important is when you do move, you have to change your address. Well, a lot of employers make you send your business ID, your social security in order to get that change accomplished. And it is unbelievable how many people still are asking for my personal private information to be sent over the open source email. So we're gonna go over that again because it happens all the time. What's your business ID? Send it over here. What's your new address? What's your new banking account meant in this open source email? It's terrifying. Yeah, and that's why you need to use uh, secure communication as, as best as you can. Um, and because you're transferring essentially personal data that can be read by hackers in between transfers. Also, if you send it to somebody, let's say your new landlord or the, the company that you purchased this uh, this housing for from, maybe their data is also hosted by a third party. It's, it's a chain, it's like a domino chain of things where not one person controls and you're giving away that entire data, trusting them. So you wanna make sure that at the very least you use proper, uh, secure and safe communication tool like email and things like that. And that's exactly what I do. Just a simple, fun plug. It's so simple to say, all right, I'll send all that over, but look out for my secure mail because it's coming through a different platform that I know I can trust. So it's been a very easy transition, making sure everyone gets my valuable information, but it's coming through the secure, the secure platform. So if you want to talk a little bit about secure mail, Sure, that's actually a very good example where you send personal information, financial for mortgage, real estate, medical information, moving. I mean, I think a while back we talked about Airbnb or that you were renting a place and they were looking for your social security number, etc. So Secure has an email and messaging application and a VPN all hosted in Switzerland. And what we do that's different uh, typically is we have a secure send application. So you can send via regular email through secure to another secure person. Uh, that way it's a closed loop. If you're sending email to somebody outside of secure network, you want to use the secure send feature, which essentially sends them a notification to click on a link, which you could password protect, uh, expiration, read limit, etc. And when they click, they connect directly to our servers 
in Switzerland. And that way, the communication never leaves the server. You can also direct for how long they can have that uh, access and how many times they can even read that email. You can also attach a ton of uh, documents and that's also helping the recipient not having their emails clogged. And also you can have large attachment in real estate. As an example, you have brochures, you have things like that. They take up a lot of space. So Secure Send, Secure Reply is a great tool. Anybody can go to our site on secure.com under the video and tutorials and see how it works. We have the same thing for Messenger where you can uh, SMS someone or email someone outside of secure to chat privately and securely with you. And of course, um, we do recommend having a VPN to protect and encrypt your data even more. The entire stuff is stored in Switzerland, where luckily we have a very high energy independence. We are connected to the globe. As you know, there is global organization uh, hosted in Switzerland. And so far, you know, knock on wood, we have a very high redundancy. That's one place, for example, where you can store your valuable information. Perfect. And you're offering a promo code for our viewers today, aren't you? Yes, the promo code is privacy. It gives you 15% off any of our solutions for the next five years. Perfect. Well, the privacy has arrived here with your secure. Thank you so much for joining us, Elaine. And I'm sure our weekly hack next week will be dialed in and everything will be working properly again. But who knows? In today's world, you have to be prepared for anything. And the good news is you have your mobile phone still for a little bit while you can power it up. I hope it all works out and everybody should be very careful while surfing the internet these days. Thanks, Absolutely. Anna. All right. Thank you all for watching.